Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're doing a plant unboxing and I'm really looking forward to this because it feels like it's been a really long time since we've done a video like this. So these plants came from a company called Little Prince of Oregon out of Aurora, Oregon, which is on the other side of the state from where we live. And I think it's a very different climate. I don't know very much about this company other than that they do a lot of different types of plants. I have no idea what they uh, sent. In fact, this video is not sponsored. They were kind enough to send me this box of plants. Uh, and usually when somebody offers to send plants my way, I am not the type who's going to turn that down. So I just wanted to uh, put that out there. So I don't know how these things are packaged. It's always really interested, interesting to me to see how people package their plants and what they look like after being shipped. Um, and I'm guessing that they were hoping we would do a video unboxing the plants, so they would probably did a pretty good job. So let's open up this box and see what we got. Oh, something came out of the box. Hold on. It says, welcome happy planters, your tender succulents have arrived. Hmm. There's some information, some stickers that say little prints. Okay. So there's a little piece of paper on top of the whole thing and then let me tip the box toward you so you can see. I hope you can see that well enough. It looks really tidy, just at first appearance. Okay, so pulling the first one out, it looks like each individual plant is in its own little cardboard sleeve. Wow. There's this like sisal, is that what it's called? Stuff over the soil to keep the soil in the can, which is rubber, rubber banded down, rubber banded down, whatever. They used rubber bands to hold it down. And this one right here is a peach leaf bellflower. So a type of campanula that has kind of uh, golden foliage. That is really pretty and that shipped really well. This is a zone three through eight, it grows 24 inches tall, 18 inches wide. Bell-shaped flowers that are white edged in soft blue. Ooh, I'm excited about that. Oh boy, this next one's a gorgeous one. Mm. Oh, this is a chick charms. That's why it's so gorgeous. I recognize this plant, I've used this before. So this is a cranberry, yeah, cranberry cocktail, Semper Vivum. Look at that. So we've got kind of that light green with the cranberry color foliage that's kind of like in the interior of each leaf. And then the older leaves have kind of the red on the tips. And there's also a little baby here and little babies forming on the inside. That is a nice looking plant. Oh boy. Mm. Another Chick Charms, this one's called Golden Nugget. I did not get any of these in my last, I had a shipment of Chick Charms come in when we did, um, I put together Harris, our bunny that's out in the garden. You know, I covered um, him in Semper Vivums, but I don't think I had any Golden Nuggets. Look at this. That color is beautiful. And I think the winter color, and I might be wrong, but I think the winter color is when it turns that really bright yellow with red tips. And it'll probably intensify as the weather gets colder. Like doing all the big ones first. There's a, a number of smaller plants too, it looks like. Oh, I like these. This is called a frizzle sizzle. You take the rubber bands off. You call that a grass, right? Is it a juncus? No, it's an albuca. Now I have grown fr frizzle sizzle before a couple of years ago and I had it in a container outside and it did pretty well. Can't even really remember what happened to it. I don't think, maybe they're not hardy here. Maybe that's what happened. Not hardy, no frost. So this is one because we are getting cooler. I'll probably keep this inside right from the very beginning just so that I don't risk anything happening to it. But it has individual leaves that come up and then each one has a curl. It's super cute. I see flowers on the next one. So, so far I am impressed with the way these are packaged because there's no mess. Like, I mean, of course, the, this little material is not the cleanest, but there's very little soil that's coming out of these. And I think that's the most important. You just don't want the roots to be all upset and have a bunch of broken foliage and stuff. This is a meadow rue. Evening star strain is the variety. Isn't that the most delicate looking thing? So this is a zone six. 
So I'm gonna need to plant this somewhere protected. The last two winters we've had, we've had very mild winters. I think technically a zone six winter, but you guys know three years ago, we had negative 17 um, degrees Fahrenheit, which is zone five. Uh, so if we plant any zone six things, we do have to make sure to kind of tuck them in like on the south side of the house where they'll stay a little bit warmer. But I would love for this one to thrive. This one grows about one foot by one foot. That is a really sweet plant. It's a type of fern. I'm a sucker for ferns. Striped bamboo fern. I'm not sure that I've ever had one of these before or seen one of these before. Maybe I need to get out a little more, but these are all really unique plants. Look at that. Okay, let's just read up here. It's a zone seven. So this one I'm gonna put in a container and put it in our cold frame for the winter. I think that'd be the um, best way to treat this one. Grows 18 inches tall by two feet wide. Okay, so now we're getting into some of the smaller plants so you can see the difference. Um, these ones were, these ones were in containers about that big. So this is about half the size and I'm seeing some Echeveria blooms poking up from this one. Oh yeah. This one's, which kind is this? Blueprints, Echeveria. Okay, I wanna be careful not to touch the leaves. On these soft succulents, especially Echeverias and like things like that have that kind of powdery coating on the leaves, you don't wanna to touch them because it does ruin the aesthetic look of the plant. So I always like to be really careful uh, when I'm unpacking or handling these, but this is a really pretty rosette. This is an Echeveria that's not as tight, like it has longer leaves. And then this bloom stalk is amazing. Beautiful kind of corally pink flowers. They got a lot in this box. This is an Echeveria nodulosa. This one is also not a tight rosette, but you can see kind of that rosette shape and look at the color, green and purple. That is beautiful. Echeveria red sky. That's gorgeous. Now that one's a lot tighter than these other ones, but I think they're all great to use um, because they all offer something different in an arrangement. And sometimes you need the taller um, and then you do want that kind of weighty bold as well. Can you see in the top of that box right there? That looks wild. Kalanchoe or Kalancho if you're from my area. Tarantula. That's cool. I have seen this one before. Um, down at the garden center. We got it in, oh, maybe a couple of years ago. And I think that there's a couple of different varieties of these that are really similar and they kind of have this wild, almost under the sea looking appearance. That's a very dark red. That one's got really chubby leaves. Look at the difference. This is a Crassula ovata tricolor hobbit. Now the color on that's beautiful. So you've got your green, you know, Crassula looking foliage. <laughs> and I'm really good at describing things. And then it's uh, tipped with the bright yellow and red. Look at that. I don't even know how to like, how to ex describe that. It's like kind of airplane-ish. I don't know, it looks like it has wings. I, it's really cool looking, kind of like, I am light icy blue. Don't be jealous of the way I describe stuff, Erin. I'd like to see how you describe everything. That would be funny. Erin should do a plant unboxing. This is an Aeonium called Kiwi. Now this one looks like it's, you know, it's got a really nice rosette, but it does look like I need to groom a little bit off. So see the leaves right there? Just a tiny bit of damage around the base of this plant. Not bad though. I mean, pretty good ratio here because all of these are great. Overall, it's a nice looking plant. This is a Pacophytum compactum. I've always loved these. They have the light blue foliage with the really kind of like bright tips. Did I just drool or was that rain? I don't really know where that came from. Hopefully not my nose. It's not raining, blue skies. And then this is a Senecio called String of Dolphins. <gasps> I've wanted one of these. Oh, this is exciting. 
Look at this. They look like little dolphins, each one of the little leaves. That is the coolest looking plant. I'm excited. Okay. Ooh, look at this, you guys. They sent some stuff, like t-shirts maybe. Now, I don't know if these are like included in every order. Maybe you could order these separate. Oh, that's cute. I'm guessing these are just the same, maybe short sleeve. Short sleeve. For That's definitely not going to fit me. But maybe Benjamin here in a couple of year, maybe a year. One for Aaron. Okay, there's a couple other things in here. Oh. oh. Big boys in here. Oh, see, this is interesting. So we got to see, let me move the shirts. We got to see how multiple different sizes of plants are shipped from this company anyway. Um, and it's interesting to see like the height and you know, you never know when you're getting something that's like a shrub or a, a perennial that's naturally taller. Like how do you ship that without damaging the leaves and the blooms? This one looks pretty good. So this one is a Syningia hardy pink Gloxinia, a zone six. So another one I'll just need to put in a protected spot, but that is beautiful. So it's got really soft leaves and long bell-shaped blooms, kind of that really light, soft pink. That's a beautiful plant. Hardy orchid, ha. This one's called Alba. And these are, um, I actually bought some hardy orchids at the flower show in Seattle, Northwest Flower Show, is that what it's called? Anyway, I bought some and then um, a really sweet nursery over when we went to um, Charlotte, North Carolina for the show, they brought me some bulbs and I have them growing on in the greenhouse. So I'm really excited to add to my collection. So these right here are a zone six to nine and grow two feet by two feet. And they've got their really thick strappy foliage and then a beautiful white bloom. And then there's a couple of boxes. I don't know what's in here. Let's take a look actually. So that actually does it for what was in this box. It's quite a bit in this size of box, I think. Oh, look at little bear planter. Look at how cute those are. And, oh, this was an elephant. So this is perfect for things like this. Done, voila, super cute. Well, I'm really impressed with this load of plants. I feel like they were all packaged really well. I think their method works really nicely. I don't know how much of a pain it is to pack up plants like that, but I, they were all packaged with care, you can tell. And then these are cute little planters and the t-shirts are all really fun. Um, so anyway, I mean, it feels like Christmas when we get to do a plant unboxing like that. And maybe that's a good idea for somebody that you know that's having like an event coming up. I would love it, Erin, if you would order me a box of plants for any event. It would be great because it's just so fun, especially when you don't know what's coming. Um, and so this is just a really fun variety of kind of unusual and maybe more rare varieties. Um, and I'm kind of getting the vibe that maybe that's what they do. They kind of... Um, specialize in stuff that's just not your run-of-the-mill fern. It's something unique. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. Bye.